name in the refereeing circles. He's running the rule over this one. Well, Ian Kyodan, he will be aware that this is a potential banana skin against the bigger Russian. So cheers from the Korean contingent in the crowd. Aikiev against Inkyodon. Inkyodon, the Korean, the shorter of the two. By some margin. Nice little skip in there, old school baron ball technique. Tries to flick it in under the guard. He's more active already in this round than he was in the semi final. Yeah, he's obviously saved up his energy, as you see. He's trying to get into the shorter distance with the Russian there and scoring two points as he does that as well. Working in that short distance. Very difficult for IKF in that distance. You can see there, he struggles there. So, great tactics there from Inkyodon. As you rightly say, Sarah Stevenson with the expert analysis. Inkyodon getting the game plan correct. Cutting, sticking, changing and flicking that shot in. Landed four, but only scored the two. But it's two useful ones. IKF now has to come forward. And we know Inkyodon has a decent back kick. I haven't seen it yet. But it's this distance here you spoke yeah. of, Sarah. That's the distance where he needs to wear because anything other than that, he has the cover's too good. Again, that was in the short distance, the head shot there. Well, he may be the shorter of the two, but he's taking a big lead here. Aikiev, well, he was unfancied coming into this one. He's done well to get this far into the final. Big wins, as we said, against Mohamed Cho, but Inkyo Don, a good start from the Korean game plan, pivotal. Excellent game plan, yeah, really, really impressed with his tactics coming into this match. And he's been more than a match for IKF into the last 40 seconds. This is the final, final of day number one. But panic not, plenty more taekwondo to come over the next coming days. Nice little reach down the stairs and pop it up, old school Korean like style. It. John liked that one. I did Good love tell. that. You see how excited I got about that? He mimicked it. <laughs> Almost headbutted Sarah Stevenson, which is never a good idea as all of her competitors will tell you. But slightly ahead. But IKF just grabbing now as well. So the Russian, of course, can bring it back in a moment's notice, but it's been a good start from Korean Inkyodon. Used that front leg to good effect. Sarah Stevenson nodding her head in appreciation as we come to the end of the round. Tactical masterclass. Yes, I um, again, I think Inky O'Donnell has got his tactics down to a T. It's always good that you can have a game plan and you can have, you know, whatever you want to call it, strategy, tactics, game plan. It's all the same thing, really, you know. And, but when it works, it's it's it can give you so much confidence. Sometimes it doesn't always work but this is really working for him. And that front leg he's using, although it's not sc scoring, it's keeping IKF away a little bit and making him think, you know, and then when he, if he knows he can't score for the body, a great head shot there by Inky O'Don. He can take that gam drink of falling over because he has to reach, he's so tall, he's gonna fall over most probably. Exactly right, he reached the heights there, landed the head shot and pulls himself into a 6-1 lead. Rafael Ikev. What can he produce here? As we said, coming into this one now, trying to show a bit of quality. But Inkyo Don's had his number, but the numbers that matter, 6-1. And he's in the head a little bit of Ikev. Now the difficulty, as you've rightly said, Sarah, if you've got a tactic and a strategy, you keep going, keep using it. But do you, sometimes people can change and lose that confidence. He has to come out a little bit, IKF then, just just coming out of his comfort zone there. Again, another point in the clinch for Inkyo Don. Yep, and just a little response as well for IKF. He did a little jump up and flick, add the gam, John. So it is an 8-4 lead, as you can see. So double the score for Inkyo Don. But he has, well, there's the moment for him now. Loves to shift and change left, but IKF doing a little bit better there, closing down. Yeah, his tactics now has got to be to be better and more proactive in the clinch. You can't keep standing still and letting Inky O'Don have his, have his own way. And he's doing much better. 
Big punch there from Inquidon on the way through. Well, I say a big punch, but he's left the space. In fact, Ikiev is trying to steal the tactics of Inquidon. Yeah, he's doing good. He's obviously, he can do something in the clinch. Maybe not a lot, but what he can do is working now for him. And again, a little bit of a surprise for Inquidon, so he's not having his own way now. Yep, no question, but I think no surprise. The Korean coach himself, a former two-time world champion, looking for that to be invalidated. The referee gave the gamge on for holding but looking for the two points yep. to be taken away. Well, this could prove pivotal here in this last final. We've seen tactics, we've seen timing, we've seen big scores. We've seen a few snooze fests as well, let's be honest. The fighters just being calm and patient. But this one now going down the stretch. Stands at 9-6. The Korean coach wants two of those points to be removed. And let's wait and see. Let's have a look. Yeah, maybe. He was holding him, he was grabbing. So the arms are yep. on the shoulders. The referee gives the gam, John. So that would invalidate it, technically. But I think the points were added. Kim and Chil looking for those two to be removed. And well, it's not a game changer. Certainly changed the momentum. Benrick Tanredi, the centre referee, waiting patiently, as are we. And a long old day. We're now British standard time, about 21.50, 10 to 10 in the evening. Fighters will get in here. What time in the morning, would you think, Sarah? Well, it depends what match they're on, but um, if the match is starting at 9, 9.30, then you know, you're going to have to be here around 8, you know, to give yourself enough time, but... His points will be invalidated. Yep, the long day and the patience is worth it. The sharp-eyed Korean coach makes sure that the two are removed. And that gives a nice little cushion now for Inkyodon. Front leg attempt from Ikev, getting closer. Yeah, Flex one better, up there. Much better from Ikev, trying to keep him away line, not letting him get into the distance. So having to be more active. And the good old-fashioned bache kia, that's always a favourite. <laughs> we like that one. That was an old-school favourite. Inkyodon using the old-school technique, stepping in on the blind side, changing with the left. IKF doing well, though. Keeping himself in this contest. A couple of gamjons on the board, three-point gap. IKF struggling a little bit in his attack. It's not really his game, but... He has to try and keep him, keep Inkyodong out of his distance. So having to be forced into a bit of a comfort zone that he doesn't like. No question about it. He's been made to feel second best. He's been second best so far, but not an insurmountable lead as we go into the, the last seconds here. Inkyodong defending, but also managing the ring very well there. As he trots back to his corner. Three-point gap. Last round. Last minute bits of advice as we go into the last round here, the final final of day one. Who's going to come out on top? Oh, we've seen Ikev come from behind before, not least against Mohamed Cho. He's going to have to do it again. I mentioned had a little chat with Inku Don before it. Didn't think he was going to get past Ajid Modani. Not the best in the semis. No. Much better in this match, though. He seems to know exactly what he wants to do, how he's going to try to win, so we're seeing a little bit more from him. Can he produce more here in the third and final round? Ikev, the taller figure, stalking forward. Inkyodon takes a low kick there, and he'll, he'll be happy to take that. It might hurt, but the Gamjon hurts even more. He's only got to hurt for one minute, 50 seconds. 
And the $5,000 will make it feel a lot better, as will the ranking points for the Olympic Games. Ikiev been put under pressure, but too much holding on the inside there. Inkyodon saying no, it was pushing rather than holding. So we're going to see another video replay. It's quite difficult to, <laughs> to do that when, for me, from this angle, he was holding. So, well, he maybe. did. But that's a, a little chat that between fighter and coach, you would know from the British team, does the coach decide to throw the card? Does the fighter decide? How does it work? I think you can have an idea of, you can set something out, but when it's in the moment, you know, if your player's saying protest and you're thinking, no, I'm going to save my card because we might need it for something more important when it's a little bit closer, or I think you can set something out, but ultimately it comes down to the moment. Yep, no question. It's just moments to go in this one. Important. As Cam John gives a little crumb of comfort for Rafael Ikaev. What's the referee's pronouncement? Unsuccessful. Card is gone. Referee pockets it and we are underway again. 10 7. Tense times now. Ikaev back in this one. Backing away, Inkyodon trying to use the front leg. Still plenty of time, a minute and 30 to go. One headshot from the Russian, tries the big back kick on the way through. Back leg turn and kick, doesn't score. Left on the inside, coming closer. Still trying to get into that short distance. I was just about to say we haven't seen Inkyodon trying to get into that short distance, but he did then, but oh, nice. An amazing front leg. But he's lost he's his video there. replay card, so can't protest that one. A shame when something looks so good. Oh, it was clean, clean was headshot. Clean, but we carry on, we move on, we know the rules. Yeah, rules is, is rules. What it is. Yeah, ruling the roost at the moment. No, Inkyodon into the last minute here. Ikev trying to find a little shot on the inside. Nothing doing on the scoreboard. Big spin. Big miss, headshot close though, thought about a Aaron Cook style sandwich shot there, but the shot was closed, couldn't cash in. Loses the gam, John, instead. Last 30 seconds now, big punch from Inkyodon. It's good to see Akiev really trying now, he's trying to pull out some techniques that he's got there, but a little bit falling short on his technique. And also the covering on the inside from Inkyodon, as you see, the technique not quite working, but the cover from the Korean, he's done well to recover. Lovely evasion there. Nice back kick, nice three chagger there. Unsuccessful, but nice to see anyway. Yep, gives Ikev lots to think about, but thinking of glory and finishing with a flourish there. Great headshot there from Inkyodon. Claps to the head of Ikev and raises the roof here in the copper box. Ikev has decided, enough is enough, my friend. <laughs> I'm off skate. Game over for Ikev. Inkyodon, the champion, takes the plaudits, takes the prize, and takes the pot of gold at the end as well. Final, final. Inkyodon, tactics over size, skill over power. And it is Korean gold to complete the heavyweight set. And we will jump straight on to the medal presentation if you can stay with us. That would be fantastic. If you cannot, join us again tomorrow. Of course, we have plenty more Olympic Taekwondo action from 7 till 9. BBC Red Button, BBC website. And of course, the World Taekwondo.